everybody. This is Tammy Schlosser. I'm here today in the studio and doing some varnishing on my oil paintings. I've had a lot of questions from students and um, online, different people with questions about when and how to varnish your paintings. And so I thought I would do that real quick for you today. And this is um, a demo on the permanent varnish that's opposed to retouch varnish. Uh, retouch varnishes are used during the painting process, but the final picture varnish is something you put on at the very end of your painting after it's completely dry uh, to protect and preserve your painting. They call it permanent varnish, but if you read the instructions or the manufacturer's uh, description, they are removable. Uh, you may have to use some special pro products and a procedure uh, they are removable though for archival and uh, restoration purposes, but for the most part, uh, permanent picture varnish. I tend to prefer the liquids. I've tried both the sprays and the liquids, and uh, I know many of my artist friends use the spray varnishes. I just, I don't know, I've just had trouble with them, um, the nozzles and spraying and getting uneven texture. So I prefer the liquid and I've had very good luck. There's a variety of manufacturers who make some really good um, varnishes. Um, Gamvar I really like from Gamblin, the Old Holland, Grumbacher, uh, so there, and I think Windsor Newton has one also. So there's a lot of different uh, manufacturers who make varnishes out there. And also there's Glossy and Matte. Most of them are Glossy and that's just a preference of how you know, uh, you like your paintings to appear. You can mix products or you can, um, for instance, I have this cold wax medium from Gamblin that I do mix with Gamblin's Gamvar, which is glossy, if I want a not quite so glossy surface. Um, or you can use the cold wax medium by itself uh, for a more matte finish type of painting. But I'm going to go ahead and just use a gloss liquid varnish today and I put a little in a cup here um, and a regular one inch house brush that it has some soft nylon bristles and but I do want it stiff enough so I can work it into the glues. This is a canvas, uh, stretched canvas so it does have some flexibility. Uh, the biggest thing I found that have helped me is I have the overhead lights off in the studio right now. Um, but the, all the light you see is coming from a window that I have just six or eight feet away. And I like it that way because I want to see a glare. And let me see if I can get it on the camera here. That glare, when I put the wet varnish down, helps me... Um, tell if I've got a good coverage on the canvas. When I have too much light on in the studio overhead, I can't always tell if I've missed a spot with the varnish. And it's just a super simple process here of basically scrubbing this on. And I'm going to try to, hopefully you can see the wet surface going on. And so what I do is I just keep working that in and I keep tilting and I'm sorry if you can't see it's really hard to demo varnishing because it's so clear. Um, but I picked this is a very very old painting and uh, it's very very dry and I picked it to show you because it's so dark that maybe some of the areas let me see if they're coming up. You can kind of see, there you go, you can see that there where it's working in. And just scrub and I do go, you know, one direction. You know, picture varnish is very, uh, very thin. So it does kind of have a self-leveling. And I'm going to try to get this side of it. But it goes on, feels thinner than water. And I work it, you know, one direction with the bristles and then t 
turn it and go in another direction just to really be sure I have it totally, totally covered. So let's hold it against the light. Make sure I don't have any big bubbles or puddles. I don't want any puddles of uh, gloss especially because it will be really shiny if it puddles up. Okay, so you can really see that shine. And I'm thinking I got it all. I'm going to very lightly sweep in one direction. Just make sure I don't have any big puddles. And that's it. So pretty easy. Pretty easy. Now what I do um, with this wet, some, a couple of the products, I think the Grumbacher, I don't know, for me it seems to dry a little faster. Um, whether you like that or not, you know, that's preference. But um, I do be sure that I dry it flat and I put it in a box and just loosely cover the top so any dust that's floating around in the room uh, or especially people who have animals and cat hair or dog hair is flying around um, that top on that box will keep all the dust from landing on this until it is totally dry because on that sticky varnish every single bit of dust in the room seems to get attracted to that and uh, let that dry good for you know a day or two um, before I take it out and I usually let it dry a couple days before I uh, put it in a frame and really press against that and that's it for varnishing quick and easy um, so stay tuned with me another time or if you have any questions that's fine just drop me a note let me know thanks so much bye bye